Hey everybody, uh, uh, it is um, Wednesday, May 18th at about 4 o'clock, um, so I may come out today and show you that uh, my little kiddie pool has got some potatoes now starting to grow. Um, some of these elderberries that I planted here are uh, doing okay um, then I got uh, some more potatoes coming in there um, so there's no more yet um, but I gotta get some more potatoes planted in there. Anyways, um, now here I uh, have uh, transplanted some of my celery that I regrew. Um, there's another one. There's another one. There's another one. And there's another one. Um, there is one of my rhubarb starting to take. There's another one. There's another one. Um, one right there by the looks of it. And then, uh, another one right there, and these ones here are doing really good. Um, so, I think I might pick a couple of them, I'm not sure. Um, let's see. Um, that one can come up. There. Yeah, I just pull it so it comes out, like, right out of the ground there. I always make sure that, uh, I backfill it. Some of the grass out of there. Um, every time I do that, I uh, always make sure that I uh, push it right back. Um, the dirt, right? Back in like this. And mat it down a bit. And then my uh, other rhubarb, I had started off with one, um, and then this is my third, going into my third year now, um, so this, this one here, and then those two. I've had for three years, it started off as one, and uh, I got it down to three. So sometime this year, I'll show you how to split those rhubarbs. So, I uh, will take you over to one of the other beds now. Um, I'll be right back. All right, we're uh, back at my strawberry uh, 
plants. Now I had uh, from over there uh, to about here um, full of strawberry plants and then uh, I uh, extended the garden bed down in here and I got uh, I just thinned them out all the way up to here and uh, just try to make Lord and share that. Uh, the things are doing good here uh, and growing now. And uh, have a good day.